Oof. Oh man, this has actually been a long time coming. Black Mesa is finally on Steam, which is fucking awesome. Like, I heard the announcement uh, a few days ago, well, you know, the timer that was on the website, it had like three days, you know, ten hours and then like ten minutes left. And I went away for a, for a couple of days and I came back and saw that Black Mesa was on Steam and I was like, oh shit, shit, so it's, you know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, obviously bought it straight away and opening it up uh, it's nice to see that you know they the company that made it has actually got their whole uh, logo on it now you know crowbar collective which is really cool uh, and then main screen is you know they got they kept the same background and all that but uh, you know they've got a few additions to the menu obviously because they've integrated multiplayer into it now uh, I'll, the start, I'll just start with the options because it's a bit it's a bit more expanded like, as opposed to the mod so that's all the same, that's all the same, audio, video, all that shit. Multiplayer's actually got importing spray and announcer choices as well, which I think was really cool. So you can you can choose either a scientist or marine announcer, and then you can choose whether they we well, can disable it all together or you can decide whether they talk about you or talk about everybody on the server. I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna be talking about. Um but I'll be playing a multiplayer game soon to to determine that, but it'll be really cool if you know it's like I'm imagining it will be something like Counter Strike's kind of, you know, dominating and shit like that. Uh, yeah, that's that. And then the Black Mesa, like the Black Mesa options itself, like for additions. So you know, Iron Sights, uh, Auto Aim, Auto Crouch Jump. I don't want that. I'll turn that off. Uh, and then like, obviously performance things as well. You've got all that. You know, that'll that'll help for anyone that's running it on a on a not like an older machine as well which is which is pretty good because I know a lot of Valve games don't actually offer that kind of option so it's good to see uh, yeah always run how do I I'm not exactly sure what that is like it might make me sound like a complete non fan and a moron but I don't know what that is and I'm gonna I actually want to need to check that out and I don't even want to risk saying it but I'm gonna say it anyway Tin tinnitus whatever that is I don't I honestly don't know what that is makes me sound like a moron but whatever that's uh, options Achievements, which I'm not too fussed the fact that I've played through the mod and got 100% on that. You know, it'll be fine playing playing the game all over again. But the you know by now the walkthrough is already up, so uh, I'm hoping that they haven't added too much else into it. I'm pretty sure that they're all the same. I think I remember around 25 in the game, so that's that's pretty cool. They could have added some more, but I think that was good. It's good at where it was at. Uh, and then obviously you'll notice all these online options. You've got workshop integration as well now, which it's got stuff on it already. This came out yesterday, and it's already got a bunch of workshop stuff. Uh, I haven't got any at the moment, but yeah, you know, I'll I'll, I'll check that shit out. Uh, then play online. We've got our server list, which I'll be trying soon. Hosting an online game, which pretty much works like every other source game, you know, frag limit, time limit, blah 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 blah. What game modes have we got? No, just deathmatch. The deathmatch is the only game mode they've released at the moment. I'm guessing with six maps. So we've got bounce, which I, I pretty much remember all of these actually. Yeah, stockyard, subtransit. Stockyard was the one with all the boxes. Oh god, subtransit was the one with that was the one with the tram in. Uh, Gasworks was the massive gaswork one, which is. You know, fairly obvious, felt fairly self-explanatory. I'll try and check out all the maps, uh, either in an online game or, you know, I'll just kind of flick between them offline and we'll just have a look at them. Uh, I've not, I don't really know much in terms of the multiplayer, like in comparison to the old maps, because I never played a whole ton of multiplayer Half-Life when I was younger. Uh, but you know, why not? You know, it'll be awesome just to see them anyway. Maybe do some comparisons. I might actually, you know, just have a wander around the original maps and then. You know, we can I can put put the video side by side or whatever, and we can have a look at how how different they are. Uh, and then this is the most interesting thing that I actually found: customized character. I haven't actually messed around with it yet. I thought I'd just you know re you know just react to it genuinely. But you know, presets, default player, uh, new. I'm I'm assuming you can create kind of like different soldiers. I'm guessing. Let's just try new. New does nothing. Delete does nothing. Okay. Let's just see what we got. So, oh wow, that is that is really cool. Okay, model. Holy shit, we got quite a lot. Scientist male, alternative male. What? Has that got? Are they both the same? Yeah, I guess so. A female scientist. God. 
alternate guard. I'm assuming that that is actually supposed to look different. I'm hoping that that is uh, the alt guard would be the guard with his uh, his chest armor on. I'm guessing. I don't know at this point. Uh, marine and marine alt. I would I would assume is supposed to be the marine with the helmet on. But you know I don't want to say that for. For, for good, so that for good, and that's cool that we can actually play zombies in multiplayer. Like they did have it, like, have have that in the original multiplayer of the original game, and it was really awesome. Uh, zombie scientist as well, so that's cool. Different skins as well. Oh, it's just one skin. I was gonna say, one skin for that. Oh shit, there's a lot of skins. Just different variations of heads. I'm not gonna go through them all, but if you played Black Mesa, you'll 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 recognise a whole bunch of them. Uh, let's see what the alternate ones are then. So there's more, basically, just just more scientists. I'm assuming. Okay then, so that would explain. That would explain the alts. Maybe it's not ones with armor on. Yes, it is. So there's ones with armor. There's ones without armor. We got black guys. <laughs> we got black guys, white guys, Puerto Rican guys, fucking old guys. Every fucking guy. Oh my god, that is a really old guard. That is cool. But hey, look, more black guys, more bearded guys, more shaved guys. So those are all you want to see. Uh, I just want to flick through these marines real quick. Yeah, just same old variations really. Same heads. So you can kind of get a general idea of, of, of what you're going to get with all of these. Uh, yeah, if it was to set the heads of the scientists, just, you know, thrown straight onto the soldiers, which isn't a bad thing. It's a good use of resources really. A uh, face. Zero, one, random. What we got? No, uh, let's try with an actual person. That might do better. Not that creepy looking thing. Um, let's try it with this dude. Oh shit! Customization! Fucking Bethesda. No. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Uh, eyebrow, you know, cheekbone depth. Holy crap, this is really, really good. Um, look at it. A lot more chances to find each a, a very unique player. Almost every player can be unique in this sense. You could. I mean, there's so many options, so many different variables. Ear height. Wait, hit it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that do like you, 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 you're, you're editing the models on the fly, which is really cool. You can, I can make it like me if I want to. I'm not gonna. Don't really want, if I want to do that right now because that'll take probably a while. But you know, whoa. Oh, that's if they're all on one, and then let's do random, random, random. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. That is really good. You can just literally just. Fuck it, fuck with it all on the fly. Uh, God, let's just try the guards. Random. Yeah, look at that. That's really good. Like customization. That is. Uh, hold on. I actually just want to go on to that default player and then. Ah, so you can. There's multiple. So you, it's like having multiple soldiers on Call of Duty, basically. Except you don't have to fucking pay for them. And I, I'm assuming do any of them save? Are there? And that's the one that saved. And then new would just that's why I, that's why there's so many because i probably clicked them like i think i clicked that like five times but yeah that's pretty awesome then so you don't have to go if you want to change to a guard or you know if you want to change to a marine you don't have to go uh, and like do the marine and then you know do the skin that you want and then change the face all over again you can just you know do it all beforehand and then just, and then just flick it just go back you know that one i want that one now on that one, on that one, which is really awesome actually, and you can just delete them on the fly as well. Which is cool, yeah. I'm just going to get rid of them because I feel like I don't really need them. There we go. We've got the original guy. Uh, fuck it, I'll stick with the soldier. Uh, stick with good old Barney. That's it for the main uh, menu. Uh, and of course, my progress isn't shown here because the mods, the mod and the Steam version aren't connected. So if you've done so much in Black Mesa or Oh, you know what would have been a really good idea? I could have... I've actually deleted the mod, Black Mesa now, the free one, because I've bought this. I could have I could have taken the save from Black Mesa and just thrown it straight into here, and then I'd have all the chapters. But, hey, it's not that bad. I've got to play through it again. I want to play through it again anyway, you know, in my own time. We, we, I want to see if there's anything new, and I want to find out what that hound eye tit titanus thing is anyway. Uh, yeah, chapters... I don't know why that's... That's saying like hot, hashtag Half Life Two under slash Chapter One title. I think that's a little bit of a bug in in the in just the the, the game dot the game text or something like that. But um, that that's easily fixable by them. Uh, it's not really a big problem. I get it a lot of mods, but you know I'm not going to say the game is shit because it has fucking can't name its chapters when I already know them. Uh, 
that's it for the menu, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try try and do an online game in a minute after I've just turned on the game, and see what it's initially like. Holy shit! Oh wow, that is cool. Look at that preparing test specimen. It's got a proper cool loading screen. Hi, fan uses RPG laser one. It's like gives you hints, and it's got a pretty cool loading screen. It's nice, you know, pretty. It's not just loading in the middle. So let's see what we got. See if it's the same as the, the walkthrough. Let's see. I'm glad I turned the game down before I did this. <laughs> so far, so good. I'd, I'd heard that they'd um, upped the graphics on it as opposed to the free version. I don't. Oh, I can't do with her talking. I don't know if this is um, if it's all been done now. Bear in mind, I, d I don't. I don't want to say that they have up the graphics right now when they might just have to be. They might be working on it at the moment because it's still in. It's. St I'm stuck. I'm, I'm actually stuck. Oh shit. Um. There we go. It's still. It's still technically early access, so it's not completely finished. We haven't got the Zen levels yet. Else, that's what I'd be doing right now. Uh, I'll be recording that right now, but they're just they've added multiplayer for the time being I'm guessing they might have advanced some of the graphics a little bit and it's actually having trouble running at the moment I'm actually I'm, I'm, my frames per second are going a little bit down and that's I think some of that part is new I, I can't remember I can't remember it's like it's it seems to be the little things mainly that they've added that, that are new rather than you know like major differences major overhauls it's just the tiny little extras that you really have to have a, like a, a sharp eye to notice. That took a little bit of a while to load. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not. That's not the game's problem. That's just problems on my end. Uh, if anyone actually watched the, let's see, that's I believe that's this is all the same. Oh no, I'll end up around there in a sec. I did a comp I did a couple of comparisons while I was uh, while I was playing this chapter uh, for the last the last time round. And you know, I compared it to the original Half Life, especially in this rocket room. I did it for the chopper outside as well. Uh, I'm trying to recognise if this looks any different. I'll obviously go back over my video and we'll just and I'll see if it's any different in my own time. But if anyone else notices it, then feel free to put in the comments what the actual different differences are because I can't I can't tell at the moment. It's been a long time since I played Black May, so. I edited the last part, which should be going up in a few weeks. I edited that at the start of December 2014, and it's now the start of May 2014. It was exactly six months ago that I that I edited the final part, so it's been a long time since I played this. So don't expect me to be good on multiplayer either, because chances are I won't be. Okay, they've, I, th I believe they've added some foliage, like the, foli the foliage there, like the uh, the grass and stuff. If I've got a sharp eye for it, which I, I might not have. Hey, I could be wrong. We'll pretty much just... I reckon we'll go through this... Through this first chapter, and then... Like that's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go any further because I don't want to end up doing a whole other fucking walkthrough again because I know that I'll, I'll end up getting to that point. Uh, I don't know if the game has changed that much. Anything that I do notice, I'll immediately just, you know, start the recording and talk about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave any of that out. Uh, here's the other. Comp I did another comparison of this, of this, of this scene. Looks pretty much the same. I don't recall. There's some parts I don't recall. I don't know if the helipad was all. I don't know. Maybe it's that stuff. Some stuff seems to have maybe changed. Oh, I might have just forgot. <laughs> like I said in the walkthrough as well, I never knew Black Mesa. I, th that walkthrough that I did, that I, that was my, only, my second time playing Black Mesa ever. So, not the second time ever playing Half-Life. I've played Half-Life 1 loads of times. It's just Black Mesa. This is technically the third time I've started it. Uh, I don't recall them having all the, the, the kind of yellow and black stripes on the door. I believe that was just a straight up white white metal door but I don't want to be quoted on things that I'm wrong on uh, oh, I'm not sure about anything else what was that oh just a little bit little bin
Okay, I got to the last level. Like, I'm not gonna say how I did it. I didn't do it honestly. I've already done it honestly once, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, just for the purposes of the video, really. I'm gonna actually be playing through the game on my own later. But for the purposes of the video, I thought I'd just skip on ahead and get to the last chapter and just check out, like, the guns of the game and any, any you know, the weapon system, basically. And what I can tell already, immediately, as soon as I started, was that they're. Each weapon has its own it has its own animation now. So like when you got the crowbar out, it was kind of like just looking at it, and I'm guessing that's how you would kind of pick it up, you know, the first time you pick it up in uh, you know the single player. The pistol looks uh, different. I don't know if it uses has a different noise for a start. I'm actually going to turn this right this, this this up a little bit so I can hear that. And it fire it fires way slower as well. Oh. And they added the, uh, it's got new animation and everything. Complete overhaul with the, uh, with the weapon set then. Uh, it's got a new animation, it's got a new, kind of new model. Uh, de especially, like, de definitely a different camera. Or is, is the, in the way he's holding it. Uh, fires a lot slower in the single, you know, if you hold it, that's me holding it down. And then right click, which is what they had, uh, in the original Half-Life, which I don't think they, I'm not sure if they had in Black Mesa, which was a, an, a kind of auto-fire for it, so... That's right. That's the alternate fire for the pistol. Uh, I don't even know what my iron sights are. I need to check. Okay. Can anyone see iron sights? No, nope, I can't see it. Classic iron sight. Maybe that's. I don't know. I guess we'll get. I guess we'll get around to the iron sights. It. Uh, I figured it'll be mouse button three, but maybe not. I can't remember what it was in, in Black Mace or. Uh, okay, well, I'll, 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 I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. Uh, we've got the Zoom. So, yeah, that fire's, uh, you know, it's completely different. I'm really looking forward to it. So, I, I'm pretty sure the model is the same. Uh, let's check the animation for the. Okay, so we've got some slightly smoother animation for it, as opposed to the uh, to the original mod. A lot slower firing as well. They seem to have done an overhaul with the with the weapons firing. They're, doing, they're going a lot slower, which is uh, a lot more realistic actually. The uh, the recoil in it, I don't think is is as harsh, but you know it, it, the cost of that is the weapon fires a lot slower. The animation is a lot smoother. Uh, that's much I can really say about. That okay, so that's that's zooming, classic hindsight. Oh, of course, idiot. That's classic hindsight in the original Half Life. You have classic hindsight. There's your iron sight. I forgot you can't iron sight with every single gun. It's just the magnum that you can iron sight with. So the, yeah, the recoil is a, is, is a little bit overhauled and a lot a lot easier to a lot easier to handle actually, which is nice. They might have nerfed the damage, but I uh, you know I have to see about that. Okay, I like that. Oh, nice. He does a little animation when he picks up weapons, which is oh shit, which is really cool. You know, I, I, I like that. I appreciate the little, the little like you know, because he's not a fighter; he's a scientist. So it's nice to see that. Uh, the MP5 looks completely different. The view on it, I think the viewpoint on it is slightly to the left, which is cool. I like seeing more of the gun rather than it being kind of held out in front. Uh, that's it. That sounds more like a machine gun. I, I think the one in the original, uh, the original mod. Had a lot, a lot. I didn't, I didn't like the sound of the machine gun. It just sounded very realistic, and the, the recoil didn't felt like it had kick. This feels like it has some proper kick. Let's check the reload. Okay, then cool, cool, cool. There's nothing, not much to it really, but it's definitely all new. This, this MP5, this is complete overhaul. Weapon sounds different, model is different, animation is completely different. Same with the pistol, really. Uh, weapon firing is. I'm trying to think of the speed that that fired at. It sounded like it fa it fired a lot faster than it did, uh, but it seems to fire a little bit slower, like a tiny bit slower, more more akin to a natural machine gun. Uh, always got his little yeah, he loves it. Okay, so we've got animation changes. Uh, the model is pretty much identical. I don't want to say it is identical when it might not be. I can see I noticed some scratches on the side of it and things like that. That's like you know just extra things really uh, but the sound is completely different the recoil is I believe a little it's got a tiny bit more kick it feels like it's got a bit more kick which is nice uh, shit it's got some fucking range on it though isn't it uh, 
Let's check out the crossbow. Okay, uh, looks exactly it is exactly the same. Okay, he doesn't he, he doesn't even pull it back. I think uh, in in the original mod, when you shot, he actually pulled pulled it back. I'm guessing they just didn't do that because in the original Half Life, he never actually reached forward to pull it back. It would have been a little bit more, little bit more, uh, a little bit more realistic to do that. But I'm not going to complain too much. You know, uh, the sight is pretty much the same, I believe. Let's check out the reload. Yeah, that's exactly the same. Crossbow so far is pretty much identical in all aspects, aside from the fact that he doesn't pull the bolt back like he did, like usually. But that's pretty much it. There's no sway when you look down the sight as well. You know, just, there's a note. I don't. I, I can't remember if it did in. Oh, cool. I don't know if it did in the original Black Mesa or not. Uh, that's got a lot more kick to it as, as, as opposed to just kind of like it did before. Oh shit, that voice is different. This is for a start. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is cool. That is fucking awesome. That is different. I want to see this. Oh damn, that is cool. I gotta be honest, that is really awesome. That's got a little bit more animation to it as well. So the rocket, so the rocket launcher was 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 different as well. I don't have enough ammo for it to kind of fire it off, but the animation for that is different. Uh, the I think had it, there wasn't really a reload for it. I think there, there kind of was. Uh, you know. That, uh, there was nothing to that. Uh, what else was there? I've completely forgotten. Now. Yeah, the Tau Cannon. That was fucking... That was overhaul. That's probably the biggest change of this entire, like, jump to Steam so far. That Tau Cannon looked bloody awesome. It had some amazing sound effects for it. This has got some little little ju juggly jelly animations when you shoot, which is kind of cool. Uh, little jelly. Jelly. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But yeah, that's that recharges fast. That recharges faster than it did in the original mod, I think. That could, that that recharges so fast. Oh, it, it seems like it did. Let's check out the grenades. Oh yeah, catch that shit. Let's see what we got. Oh, it has a little spark. That's cool. It has like a, a nice little spark when you um when you throw it away. So at least you can track it. And I'm guessing I'm guessing that will help a lot in multiplayer and in um. And in, 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 you know, when when the military throw grenades at you, because sometimes you can just never see them. It's nice to see that they're actually, you know, you can actually be able to see what the fuck's being thrown at you. Oh, yeah, he's checking out the bag. Throw it in there. Oh, fuck it. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, the, the satchel charge, I believe, is uh, almost identical. I'm not going to say that's, that's any different. <laughs> yeah, wipe it down. He's holding that in a different way than he did in uh, the original mod. That makes different noises as well, which is nice. That's cool. Uh, that's such. I'm, I'm trying to determine whether there is anything different about it. The trigger's the same. That voice. That voice is so different from the original. It kept the. That that's not the original HEV suit voice, which is cool because that means they've. they It seemed like they've just kind of high pitched it as opposed to, as opposed to like thing. The the original mod, which is kind of cool. Oh shit, I didn't check out the sprint. Look at him. He's got actual sprint animations as opposed to just kind of holding the gun up or down. He's got some animation with this, look. This is awesome. Proper like, yeah, this really feels, this feels good. You know, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm edging to play this now. You know, replay through this. Right, let's turn this over on. Let's go fight some, some Xenos. I don't know, I've wasted most of my ammo on the fucking firing of, of random bullets but I'm sure I'm sure I'll be fine okay final chapter I think I've li I'm literally uploading this as we speak in my original walkthrough so this is kind of cool man the, the weapon this is so cool I can't believe how much they've changed the weapon set in the game as, as, as opposed to the original mod it's just they've really put some work into it and I really appreciate it you know, I, I think I, I think anyone that is a fan of Half Life or anyone that is remotely interested in the Half Life universe that quite that thinks, oh, you know, the original Half Life might be a bit too old for me to play. I might be able, not be able to get into it as well. This is the perfect thing to to to, to use to get into to play to get into the Half Life universe. And you know, like if you've always wondered, 
what Half-Life is like, but don't quite want to play that old school game, then I would definitely, definitely recommend this game. Like, seriously, is it? Shit! Oh man, that... They've made it... They've made it a ton more accurate. Did he just... I'm sorry, did he just throw that in his hand? I thought he just threw that in his hand. That would have been really cool. Oh, they've made it so more accurate, but they've nerfed it, I think. But it doesn't matter. No problem. I'll try the magma out. Yes, then. Yes, then. Yes, then. That takes two hits like it did before, I think. So that's pretty cool. And I still got the blood on the weapons, which is nice as well. Crib on your ass. Yes, then. Well, that's pretty cool, then. Uh, you know, I, they've nerfed the MP5, but like I don't have a problem with that. I, I actually really like it. The the gun the gun feels fun to shoot. I actually want to shoot it a lot. Like I, I I used it in the original mod just because I kind of had to at times. But in this, it really feels like a proper proper machine gun. It's really good to fire. I'm really liking the weapons at the moment. Uh, there's that, that's actually all the weapons there are. So I'm not gonna. That's pretty much all I need to cover. Now I know the assassins are in the next room and. And that pissed me off last time a lot when I had to deal with that. So I'm actually just gonna. Oh, I'm actually just gonna. Oh, I might just cut it, cut it here before I get completely owned by the ninjas and try some online stuff. Oh shit! Oh, I can. Yes, then. I've got an easy. I think. I think it's also to sell to me either, so. I can't see you. Fuck off! Oh, I missed. I missed. Yes. Where the fuck? Oh, she's above me, isn't she? Damn it. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I did not want to do this. Just let me go play online, please. They're not letting me. I remember. I, I, I lamed it out in my in my walkthrough. I, I actually I actually lamed it out and put trip mines all over here so they couldn't follow me in. Like, I, feel, I feel like such a cheap, a cheap bastard, but I don't give a toss. They fucking, they're annoying. And this game is really hard on hard as well, I'd like to add. Like, it's extremely hard. Yeah. Please, does that work? Oh, it'd be really cool if that just worked. Was that a tiny little lift? Okay, I'll kill these, and then I'll go to online. Fuck you, then. I'm going back in here. I can't help but just enjoy the game again. Like it's been six months. And oh, D come on, where? Fucking hell! That made me jump. I'm gonna die. If I die, then I'm going to multiplayer. If I win, I'm going to multiplayer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I loot, what? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, fuck off! Jesus, so fucking annoying. Where'd you, where'd you go? Especially she went down the stairs. No. It would have been nice to actually see an assassin model as a playable uh, character in multiplayer, but hey-o. I, I just a thought came to my head. I think they've gone. I heard a noise. Oh, that was the door. Alright. Fuck this, I'm going to multiplayer. See you later. <laughs> oh! Just fuck off! Just die! <laughs> right, now, there. There's the differences between, as far as I can tell, the main features of the game so far. Uh, the menu is different. I've shown the menu off. Uh, weapons are a lot different. I'm loving the animations and the models and all the new sounds. It makes it a lot more of an immersive game. And, you know, it, it, it gives itself more personality. It's not just a mod. It seems like it's, it's just its own thing, and it's great to see that. And I hope that the, the Zen levels do come out soon. Uh, I might upload uh, the online game in a separate video. I might stick it on the end of this. We'll see. But you might either be seeing me in a few days doing online or you'll be seeing me in about a minute doing online. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll, see, I'll see what I can do. See how long this, this, the, all, this, all this comparison stuff is. I've yet to see all the comparisons of the actual game. You know, through campaign, etc. But I'm not going to play through the entire campaign uh, because one, I don't have the time, and two, I just want to show off the the immediate features of the game so far. Uh, any additions to maps or chapters or anything like that, I do not know about at the moment. 
uh, but I'll probably just either put that in a separate video or maybe just pop that up on Twitter. It depends on how major slash minor the, the changes are, but yeah, this is Black Mesa, uh, 15 pounds, 15 UK sterling on Steam, uh, I'm pretty sure it's $20, uh, $19.99 on the US Steam, so I would definitely go check it out and give them some support because seriously, these guys deserve it, you know, even comparing the original mod of Black Mesa to this is is amazing. It's 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 fun as, as well as comparing it to the original 1998 game, and you should definitely give it a try if you're remotely intrigued about the Half-Life universe. Because hey, you might you might get take you might just get sucked away by you know the the amount of Half-Life awesomeness that there is that you've yet to discover. Okay, try now. Uh, multiplayer now for Black Mesa. Jesus, Tekken. I wonder if there's any stuff to download for it, you know, server wise. Uh, the server latency on it was 497, so maybe because I'm uploading, I might not be able to play uh, with the perfect ping. So if that's the case, I'll actually just hang about, wait about half an hour for the video to upload, and then I'll, I'll give it, and then I'll give it another go. I'm not quite sure how the connection's gonna gonna fare. Oh shit! Okay, uh, gas works. This is then. I better spawn. Oh shit! I think I just saw a lot of lag. Oh, there we go. There's a guy. Oh shit! Well, there we go. Oh fuck, man! You can really hear yourself getting hurt by that stuff. Yes, I got the tower cannon. See what we got. Let's kick this guy's ass. Yes, then. Fucking straight away, lads. Oh, and they dropped their little stuff. I am lagging a little bit. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Can I get out of here? Nope. And that's closing, so I can't actually get out that way. So let's see. Let's just turn this down a little bit. So I don't wanna. So we got. Let's find a way out. I don't actually know this map all that well. So. Shit. Well, he's dead. I'm guessing. No, he's not. Yes! Fuck me! Yes! Blew you away! I was... Oh shit! Bloody hell, I was... I was sure I was actually going to be super rusty in this, but uh, not doing too bad at the moment. Fourth in the server, and I've only just been, I've been on for about a minute. So we'll see how it goes. God, this really does feel like classic Half-Life. Half-Life 1 deathmatch! If he hits me with that, I'm dead. So I'm gonna try and find some, find it and get the same gun. Nope, got him. I think. Oh, oh, that is cool. They've got the feature that they had in the original Half-Life. Um, oh, the original Half-Life fucking multiplayer. I can't talk while playing the game. No, oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Shit. Uh. Yeah, where the uh, the crossbow, if you fire it without looking down the sight, it'll actually the the arrows will actually blow up on contact with the wall or anything like that, which is really cool actually. Because it kind of gives a bit more reason to use the crossbow. Because it can be quite. I imagine it would be a very hard gun to use in this. Oh shit! I'm really lagging in this game. My ping is 339, so I'll have to give it a little bit of a go on here. Uh, checking out the map as well. I can't quite say much about the maps in terms of. Shit, man, I'm lagging. I'm, I'm, I'm probably pissing some people off. But, like, as far, as far as I know, I never really played Gasworks all that much. Sub Transit is one I remember, but not kind of area by area. Like, I couldn't I couldn't compare it in the... Uh, just just from memory. Um, so, Stork Yard I do remember, so I can compare that. Uh, if we don't get a good enough look at all the stuff around here, then... Oh, hello. I can't shoot at him. Only pistols can shoot underwater. He hasn't got a gun. Um. He does. Oh no, he's not. He's got a gun. He's just. Uh... Shit. Fucking hell. Got him. Shit, what am I doing? A lot of people are getting kills at the moment. Oh, there's your announcer. Tell us your time left. And I chose the marine one. That came up quick. That 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 really shot quick. Uh, yeah, we'll get a. I'll try and get a more decent look at each map. I'd like to. Pre I preferably, I'd like to play a game on each map to show that each map off that way. 
instead of me walking around and talking and not talking about the map that much because honestly I don't know that much about the maps uh, so I'll try and play a, 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 a game on every shit man this is really lagging on every on every map oh we're outside no oh! fucking shit someone else killed him oh he was up there I was looking for those bloody towers bloody hell this is this is really cool Hey Snorth, if you're watching this, get Black Mesa and then we'll play this together online. Wouldn't that be a really good idea? <laughs> See, you, you know, you know, you want to get the game. This could be. This is. This is like pure classic deathmatch. This is. That like, reminds me. So oh shit! Oh look at that tube fl flinging around in here. It's going crazy. <laughs> Fucking hell! No. Yes. Yes, that's what you get for fucking camping. No, I'm gonna camp up here for a little bit. Oh, I missed. Okay, that's good. Oh shit, he's gonna get me. Yeah, 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 you hide. I don't know what the fall damage is. I'm not, not, I don't know, I don't know anything about the fall damage. Oh, that's cool, that's going, that is. That's really going for it. Shit, I've got one HP. No, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna. There's people down here. There's people down here. I'm dead. <laughs> Shit. Uh, maybe we spawned outside at one point as well. I keep thinking that's a barnacle. Got a crossbow. Let's see what's down here. I don't think actually. No sprint. Holy shit. No, no sprint in multiplayer. They've taken it out completely. Probably for balancing, I, I can completely understand that. So I'm not going to say that's a bad move. This this map looks really cool so far. Jeez, he's fucking moving, isn't it? Okay, right, we're going to go outside for this, isn't we? Yes, we are. What? Oh shit! I'm dead. I'm going to die. No, I don't. Yes! Oh, fucking hell! I can't believe I fucking killed him. I absolutely turned on him. Oh. Oh no! Shit. Oh man. I need a drink. <laughs> As in an actual. My throat is just drying up. Shit. No. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <coughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, let's find a way out again. Oh shit! Oh, he stole my kill! You're not going anywhere, mate. You're staying. You're staying here. Oh. Where's he gone? Oh shit, he's gone a different. He's gone somewhere. He's run away. I'm, I'm lagging. I'm bloody lagging. Help me! Oh. Yep. There we go. Easy kill. Thank you. Get outside. Oh. What? Yes. I swear I didn't hit him then. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> oh, fuck you. Oh my god, I'm lagging. They probably know it as well. They're probably mad that I'm lagging. Can't help it, lads. Ooh! Did I get him? Oh, got him though. Come on then. No. Oh, tried to sprint away from him. I forgot I ain't got one. Shit, man. People are doing really well on this. But I think I'm doing good, but they're doing much better. Got another five minutes on this server. Trying to find as many different locations as I can at the moment. Uh, oh, okay. This is. This is. Whoa! Fucking hell! Unless there's any... Oh god. Unless there's any secret areas, I'm pretty sure we've seen five minutes left. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've covered uh, I think most of this map is that I've actually seen. Oh, fuck you, mate. Fuck off. Fuck you. We'll try and get outside a little bit more. I wonder if there's a way inside from the outside. Uh, see the damage loss. No, da no health loss. 
from there. Uh, let's see what's down here then. No, there is full damage. It's 10. 10 foot. Oh. Fucking hell. That's back inside, so that's the way out from the inside. So that's cool. Let's see what we got. Oh shit! Oh, I can't hit him at this fucking range with this fucking thing. See ya. He's gonna be ready for me, he is. Come on. Oh no, he can't get here. See ya. Back outside. Haven't been on the floor yet. Oh, there's some. Oh, that's cool. I, look, I like this area. It looks awesome. There we go. That's Gasworks. 